Hey what's up YouTube, so today I just reset some of these tubs, took all the existing fish in there that I'm um, no longer to be raising in these ponds, um, put them in some tanks and then I'm going to put in some new fish today um, that I've wanted to try breeding out in ponds. I uh, recently saw from Bakes Aquatics in Australia that he was breeding out some um, pseudomugos or dwarf rainbows in some of these ponds and some rice fish as well. So I decided to do the same thing because I saw that he was having success. Um, so in this one, I put in some um, rice fish. I think they're called uh, Japanese madaka. They're the orange type. Um, they're kind of shy right now. They're somewhere in there though. But hopefully I have success with that. I stuck in a spawning mop. So I'm going to check that every few days. Alright, over here I have a little pond that I'm going to put in some sparkling gummies. Um, there's already a lot of microorganisms inside of this pond. So they should have a lot of natural live foods to eat. But let's take a look at the fish. Alright, here's a look at the sparkling gummies that I'm going to put in the pond. They don't look too happy in this little tank with um, not too much cover. So hopefully they'll be a lot happier in the pond that I'm about to put them in. Alright, let's get them in. Alright, let's get them in the pond. So hopefully they're happy and they breed in here. But um, let's check back in a couple months and see how they do. Alright, I'm also going to stick these Daisy's rice fish in this pond over here. I think I have two males and two females. And hopefully they are happy in here. I have a bunch of um, pearl weed in there too so hopefully they can lay their eggs in here. And again we'll check back in a couple months. And then here's another pond that I'm gonna about to stick some new fish in. Um, and this one I'm gonna stick in some um, gold Fundalo Panchax Gardneri, um, which is um, my my fish club's um, grout fish this year. So hopefully they have a, a lot of room to grow in here. And I put in a spotty mop just in case um, when they grow up, you can probably throw some eggs in there for me. So I can grow out the next generation. But yeah, here's a look at the um, killifish that I'm going to stick in there close up. Uh, these are just juvenile, so they're really small still yet. And the competition is to see um, who can grow them out the largest and nicest. So hopefully they do well in there. But yeah, that's all the ponds that I've set up for today. There's um four new setups and we'll check back in a couple months to see if they were successful or not. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, check this out. I have Sudamigo Sarano del Salis Fry. Finally. So I'm pretty happy about that. There's a bunch of them. So every day I just check their spawning mop. Here's the parents here. I just check their spawning mop for eggs. And then whatever I find, I stick it up in that little hatchery tank up, up there. And it took quite a long. Um, I didn't really count, but it feels like it took about a month actually for the fry to start to appear. And actually, um, there's actually a few um, fry in this tank as well. Um, with, they're hard to see. Um, so they actually survived in the parents tank too, which I thought was interesting because other um, pseudomeos that I keep, I know they eat their fry. So, I don't know, these guys have been pretty easy so far. Oh, and also what I found was a bunch of narrate eggs, which I'm happy about. Hopefully they hatch out. This is a brackish water tank, so um, I heard you need brackish water or salt water to breed narrate snails. So hopefully they hatch out okay and we'll see. 
yeah, that's that thing.